Welcome back. That was an amazing song from uh, Justin and James and they're simply saying Kiwena. I just love the way lyrics flow when somebody is singing in uh, my mother tongue, Lozi. So, you know, it's big ups to those guys. And uh, like we promised you, uh, Pastor Sande Sinyango is uh, with us in the building and they're talking about how you can develop a healthy prayer life. Uh, Pastor Sande, how are you doing? I'm blessed. It's been a, a long time coming. I mean, you know, a lot of people have been requesting that we want to see the man of God on mm -hmm. this show. <laughs> it's a joy to be here. Okay. Uh, it's been my dream. I've mm -hmm. been watching, I've been following mm -hmm. some of the programs. So I pray that today we can have a great time in the presence of God. Amen. And uh, bless somebody. Okay. Thank but how, how is ministry doing? The Especially Lord, as regards to standing in the gap. The Lord has been so gracious. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing this for some years now. Uh, it started as a, prog as a radio program on Christian Voice. And because of demand, we had to go where the people are, to mm -hmm. interact with them, okay. to minister to them. Okay. And uh, we have seen the end of God from uh, 1996, mm. <laughs> from the time we started. We stayed, and then we stepped out to do some of our prayer meetings that was on 2001, somewhere there. Okay. And from that time, we've been crossing Beautiful. from city to city and uh, uh -huh. crossing the borders okay just and to take I, prayer i love the fact that today we're talking about prayer and the fact that that's something that you're already engulfed in that's mm -hmm. so to speak your calling <laughs> but you know talking about prayer what what is and what is not prayer uh prayer is uh i can call it the breath of god mm -hmm. uh or the breath that god releases on somebody Mm -hmm. who is communicating with him, meaning without prayer you can't breathe and you can't live and you can't move. And uh, you build a relationship with him through prayer and you are strengthened again through prayer. So somebody who prays is somebody who is actually, you're breathing in. <laughs> without prayer, you're gone. Mm -hmm. And prayer is not shouting or crying or complaining. People who come to you say, I've been praying. And then you ask them, how have you been praying? I've uh, been crying and I've been asking God. It, the, the way I say asking God is a way of complaining. Mm -hmm. Our prayer is not shouting. Prayer is not silence. Mm -hmm. Prayer is from the heart. But through shouting, you can express yourself again. But there's a shout which is not attached to, to faith because God is moved by faith. Mm -hmm. And there are people who, who pray inside mm -hmm. in faith. But some people think when you're silent, or you're shouting mm -hmm. and then God is listening. It's not like that. Prayer is something that moves God when we mix it with faith. Okay. But how, at what point would somebody know that, you know, their prayer life is no longer the same as it used to be? Is there a certain requirement of saying you need to spend this much time in prayer? Uh, when 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 look at prayer, people you know who take it in different uh, it, it, because there are different kind of prayers anyway. Mm -hmm. We'll come to that later on. But uh, people think uh, when uh, uh, when you pray for a long time and then God has heard you. Mm -hmm. Well, if you pray a short prayer, uh, God doesn't hate you. And hence there are these religious things around us. But I've, when you read scripture, you discover that certain people pray the simple prayer mm -hmm. and God answered them. Just a simple prayer, like the blind Bartimaeus. Mm. What do you want? I want to see. <laughs> and sure. he received this miracle. Mm -hmm. So it's the attitude. God looks at your attitude. Now, we are told in Hebrews, you know, chapter, chapter 11, verse 6, without faith, it is impossible, you know, to please God. Anyone who comes to him must believe that he is, and there is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. So there's also a place of diligence. There's a place of seeking God. Sometimes we seek for things, not God. Hence, we miss it. Okay. Let's uh, dive into the different kinds of prayers now. There's a prayer of intercession mm -hmm. where you, you intercede. If you can intercede for the nation, you can, just, you can intercede for somebody who is about to die or they get about to get married. Mm -hmm. you, 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 take those, you take them before the Lord. Which, which also falls under, let me say, standing in the gap. You know, as you, you take your place interceding for somebody, not to go through divorce. Mm -hmm. You can intercede for the nation not to go through crisis. But just on that, Pastor, oftentimes when, you know, people uh, come before the presence of God, it's mm -hmm. always God, I've got this problem. God, I've got this need. Mm -hmm. There are very few times when we spend 
enough hours in the presence of God to pray for other people? How important is it for mm -hmm. people to stand in the gap for others? Uh, it's important to stand in the gap because Ezekiel, th Ezekiel 22, 30, it says, I looked for a man to stand in the gap, to mm -hmm. stand in the gap. Now, it shows how desperate God is. Mm -hmm. if, he's look if God is searching, if mm -hmm. God is looking, and then uh, it shows that he's desperate, mm -hmm. meaning these people are not easily found. Mm -hmm. So now it takes God to look for them. And he says, I found none. And because there was none, there was destruction. Mm -hmm. So when you stand in the gap, you find that there are a lot of things that you can stop. It can be in a family. It can be in a working place. Mm -hmm. It can be you know, in business, marriage, you name it. Uh, the, the, the list is, is endless. But when you stand in the gap, you begin to stop a lot of things. Now, it takes God to look for somebody. So certain things have happened in our families, in our nation, uh, in the world, because there was no one to stand in the gap. Now, God isn't looking for a group. He's looking mm -hmm. for a man. Wow. So one man can change things. Okay. One man in the Bible stopped and changed the entire season. He said, at my word, there'll be no rain, and there's no rain. That's Elijah. So mm -hmm. one man can stop wickedness in the city. He can stop these you know, bad things that are happening around us. We can stop witchcraft, we can stop satanism, we can stop all these things that have destroyed homes and lives and families mm -hmm. through standing in the gap. One prayer can change the city. All right. So you were looking at uh, the different kinds of, of mm -hmm. prayers. There's uh, intercession where yeah. you stand in the gap for others. Mm -hmm. um, well, what else is there? There's also a prayer of thanksgiving mm -hmm. uh, where you just begin to thank God for he is. What he has, yeah, what he has done for you. You thank God for your family. You thank God. Even from the Lord's Prayer, we mm -hmm. see all those things. You know, the Lord's Prayer actually covers <laughs> every aspect of, uh, of, 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 of prayer. Mm -hmm. You know, it starts with worship. We see adoration, where you, you begin to worship God. Mm -hmm. And we, saw, see, we see thanksgiving there. Uh, we see a prayer of uh, a petition. Where you begin to request. You, you, you most like asking God to do something for, for people. You know, mm -hmm. standing in the gap, uh, intercession, you're asking God also to save somebody, uh, to stop certain things to happen now. And then you come to petition, God bless this brother, bless this sister, bless that. So there's also thanksgiving, there's, you know, petition, you ask God to bless some people or to intervene in somebody's life, which also close to some, some intercession. Also, there's a okay. prayer of faith, mm -hmm. you know, the Bible says the prayer of faith will heal the sick. We see that in James chapter 5. The prayer of faith will save the sick. So if you pray a prayer of faith, it mm. can change. Okay. And the Bible says the prayer of a righteous man also traveleth much. Mm -hmm. It brings results. So the prayer of faith also brings healing. Mm -hmm. And there's a prayer where you ask God to bless you. Okay. If you don't have a wife, ask God to give your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you picked on that example. <laughs> but if you've just joined us, you are watching uh, Enter In, and uh, today we are talking about how you can develop a healthy prayer life. And uh, that's the question that you should be asking yourself this particular moment. How is your prayer life? And of course, helping us to address the topic is our uh, Pastor uh, Sunday. Now, we were talking about, you know, important aspects of prayer. But now, somebody might be asking to say, how can I develop a healthy prayer life? Uh, before I, I get the question, there's also a prayer which people may call a prayer of uh, warfare, spiritual warfare, mm -hmm. where at times you begin to deal with powers that, you know, uh, control cities or families mm -hmm. or, or communities. Mm -hmm. uh, you call it a, a spiritual warfare. And sometimes people go and uh, uh, study how people live in that area. Now, they are strongholds. Now, they're doing things that controls the minds of people, the environment. So you have to get into the word and deal and confront those forces mm -hmm. through the word. You know, the only thing that can really frustrate uh, the agenda of the devil in that community, in the city, in the nation, is the word. Mm -hmm. And coming to your question, how can you develop a healthy prayer life? You know, God is not moved by our tears, uh, our maybe crying or mourning or all those things is moved by faith. Now, how does faith come? The Bible says faith comes by hearing mm. and hearing by the word of God. So you can't develop your prayer life without the word. So you need also to have the word of God in you. Even certain prayers we see from the Bible, we see Christ praying the word. And because he prayed the word, God was moved. And God is always moved with his word. 
So you develop your prayer life by spending time in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You read the Bible. And mm -hmm. also listening to some messages, uh, reading Christian voice, uh, Christian books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you read Christian books, you find that you begin to enhance and uh, you, you, you become strong and you, you begin to grow mm -hmm. in the things of God. It, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, your earlier statement when you said some people go before God thinking they're praying mm -hmm. when all they're doing is complaining. Mm -hmm. So when, when you add the word of God to whatever it is that you're talking about, you're backing it up with scripture, then mm -hmm. it, it becomes in its purpose and you're not just bringing mm -hmm. your problems and mm -hmm. complaining about it. But I want you to speak to somebody right now that, you know, is feeling low, hasn't been praying in a while, is mm -hmm. feeling hopeless mm -hmm. and, and just doesn't have that urge to kneel down and pray and, mm -hmm. and, and thinks the whole world is against them. Uh, the Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? So you can be there and you're saying, God, where are you? Remember Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And uh, we see someone say, far be it from me that I may sin against God by not praying for you. So we are here to pray with you, to speak into your life, regardless of your situation, there is hope for you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's a friend who seeks closer than a brother. You're not alone. He is with you. And we encourage you to go on your knees and reach out to him. Just pray a simple prayer to the Almighty God. He will listen to you. It's a call to me. Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It doesn't matter how filthy you are, how dirty you are. When you call upon the name of the Lord, he will save you. The Bible says in, in John 3, 17, he sent his son not to condemn the world, but to save that which was lost. So it doesn't matter how dirty you are. The bad things you've been doing, the blood of Jesus Christ can cleanse you. As you reach out to him in faith, as you call upon his name, he will answer you and your life will never be the same again. So forget about what has happened in the past. He doesn't condemn you. Just come the way you are and your life will be changed. And you have the, you have the story, you have the testimony. And people look at you and say, what has happened? Just tell them, I met Jesus. And that will also bring others in the kingdom of God as you talk about it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. I just love the passion. <laughs> but, you know, again, uh, Pastor, um, someone might be saying, I would really love to give um, Pastor Sandy a call and, and just get a prayer because we have people watching mm -hmm. from all over the country, Amen. even, um, uh, you know, uh, across the borders mm -hmm. that would say, well, I can't see the man of God, but I'd like to give him a call and say, pray for me over the phone. I've got Amen. this situation and they want you to stand in the gap for them. That's, How do they get in touch? With that's what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. you, you can get, they can get me on plus two six zero. That's nine seven seven eight four six 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 zero. That's okay. plus two six zero nine seven seven eight four six 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 zero. Okay. And uh, we'll mm -hmm. pray with them. That's Definitely. what God has called us to do. We, 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 we take the calls in and put the devil where he belongs. Amen. You know, I have the devil's passion. Amen. He <laughs> <laughs> comes to steal, that kill, and destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so God much, you. Pastor, for Amen. coming through. And I must say, prayer is a vast topic. So we, we're looking forward to having you very soon again. Amen. So we can just uh, conclude on a few uh, shady areas. Amen. We've just scratched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back. Okay. Uh, so there you have it i was talking to uh, pastor sunday and uh, looking at how you can develop that uh, healthy uh, prayer life so get to spend time with god i mean you like he putly uh, rightly put it that you could be discouraged you think all hope is gone but all you have to do is just kneel down begin to pray and you see just how hope will be restored instantly 